Hey everybody, I'm BuilderDude35, and in this week's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how you can establish a Bluetooth connection between two EV3 bricks. Now what you're going to do after both of your EV3s have been turned on is to go all the way to this rightmost menu here and scroll down to Bluetooth. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go up and then you're going to check Bluetooth to turn it on and also make sure that visibility is checked otherwise your bricks won't be able to see each other. So now that you've done that you can go down and confirm your changes and make sure you also do that on your second EV3 that you turn Bluetooth on and also make sure visibility is on. So Bluetooth on, visibility is checked and now we're good. So now the next step is with one of your EV3s you're going to go back into Bluetooth you're going to go to connections all the way at the top and what you're going to do is you're going to click search and it's going to take a few minutes to find all of the Bluetooth enabled devices that are around it and the idea for doing this is so it finds our second EV3 right here so it's going to search for a minute and now the name of the second EV3 my second EV3 is KM EV3 appears and what you're going to do is you're going to enter hit connect and then now we're connected now since this this is not my first time connecting to my other EV3 what it normally makes you do is enter a, a pass key to confirm your thing so now that these two EV3s are connected it's saved in your connections menu so you can connect to that other EV3 at any time you want and you don't need to en enter a pass key when you do have to enter a pass key, make sure the pass key matches on both of your EV3s and you uh, click enter on both of the EV3s at almost simultaneous times. And then that's you only have to enter a pass key if you're connecting for the first time, which I am not with these EV3s. And now that this is uh, your other EV3, they know each other and it's saved in your connections, you can connect to them whenever you want. And now I'm going to show you a cool trick for that. So what you can do is, now that your EV3s know each other and they're listed in each other's connections, you can have them auto-connect at the beginning of a program. So how you do this is you go to Advanced, then you come here to Bluetooth Connection, and you draw, drag out one of those blocks into the beginning of your program. You set it to Initiate, and then you type in the name of the receiving EV3. So if I'm using my... EV3 number 1, I'm going to set it to connect to EV3 number 2. And now when you run the program, it's going to auto-connect to EV3 number 2 in the beginning. Pretty cool, right? And just remember, you only need to do this in one of the programs. If you have a transmitter program and a receiver program, only one of these programs needs to initiate the Bluetooth connection. One other important thing to remember is that an EV3 can only connect to one other device through Bluetooth at a time. So after you've got the connection between EV3A and EV3B and you need to adjust your program on the computer, I recommend programming your EV3s through a USB so you don't have to lose the connection that you have between the two EV3 bricks through Bluetooth. Otherwise, you'd have to then switch your Bluetooth back to the computer and then back from the computer to the EV3s and it just gets annoying. So now that you have the Bluetooth connection between your two EV3s, what can you do? And why do you even care? So what you can do is you can send messages to and from the EV3s, and you can even control one EV3 with another, whether you want RC or you want the EV3s to communicate with one another. And that's what I'm going to be getting into with next week's tutorial. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week. I'm BuilderDude35. Bye.